friends in this session we will discuss about how to write value adding non conformities in case of iso 9000 audits non conformities are very critical for a client and they are the most important tool for improvement however sometimes because of not writing the non conformity properly there are cases when there is no non conformity and we write or sometimes they we miss the improvement opportunity by not writing the non conformity so in this session we will look at how to write the proper non conformity first of all in each non conformity we have to look for three things which we need to write first is the what is wrong what is wrong with respect to the situation suppose you are taking a plant round and you come to know that you have observed a pressure gauge which is a say critical pressure gauge for a say the pressure of a vacuum pressure for a, um, like pressure for for a like compressor such kind of critical pressures and you find that okay it is there is no calibration sticker and there is no label so you like to give it as a non conformity so that is the wrong what is wrong that something is not calibrated an instrument which is critical to quality is not calibrated the second thing which we have to write in a non conformity is what is the evidence so you have to write the number of that pressure gauge that pressure gauge pg101 is not calibrated if you write okay so few of the pressure gauges in plant is not calibrated it's not sufficient you have to write the number so that when the audit wants to go back and do some correction or he wanted to reanalyze something then it is easy for him that he can recheck that which pressure gauge we are talking if there are many pressure gauges then we have to write at least 3 or 4 as the evidence that pressure gauge 101 105 107 are not calibrated etc are not calibrated the third thing which we have to write is we have to justify our finding our non conformity with the standard so we have to write what we have to write that as per clause 7.6 of iso 9000 there is a non conformity so basically we have written three things pressure gauge is not calibrated which pressure gauge is not calibrated pg 101 is not calibrated i it is required to be calibrated because iso clause number 7.6 requires that instruments which are critical to quality measurements are supposed to be calibrated if you write all these three things it's a proper ncr and that will not be challenged in your closing meeting or thereafter and it will bring out the improvements what kind of improvements this ncr can bring out first thing is like they have to calibrate the pressure gauge pg101 so the audit department if it is if it belongs to utilities section then the audit department will be utilities and the utility have to carry out the calibration of pg101 this is called correction next thing he has to do is root cause analysis why he has missed this pressure gauge so he will do the root cause analysis that this pressure gauge was not included in the list of instruments or the person who is responsible for calibration uh, he has changed the job and new person is not aware of the how many uh, instruments to be calibrated and like that suppose he identify the cause as the pressure gauge is not included in the list of instruments which needs to be calibrated 
then he has to take a corrective action which will be on the cause that the list of instruments requiring calibration is reviewed and in the procedure for calibration it is indicated as a mandatory requirement to review all the instruments which requires calibration once in six months so that any new instrument any missing instruments can be found out so this is the whole process of doing a audit which brings out the improvement 